Hey guys, today I'm going to be bringing you a short Minecraft seed review video. As you can see here is a little image of it with uh, the seed right there. I'll also post a seed in the description so that you guys can copy it and just paste it right in. First we're going to be looking at just the overall terrain. It starts off at a flatlandish area with some swamps and deserts nearby, but eventually gets pretty interesting. Now the spawn area itself is over here as you can see the village and some other stuff is over there when you load into the game you'll spawn right about here and once you let that load a little bit um you can just look around and obviously you will find uh some horses and some places to get wood the next little part i'm going to be looking at is this cave here there's actually an entire cave system in this general area and right there is the spawn marked by red wool but this is just the largest entrance i don't know if you can see behind that but there is a piece of iron behind there and um and when you go down here there's some more on your left and some above you some coal yep see above you and to your right so now once you get down here if you mine to this corner and down, I don't know how far it is, but there's a exact coordinates are coming soon. And you mine this way a little bit, you will get, you know what's going to happen. That's right, diamonds. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamonds. 8 damage is enough to make a sword, a pickaxe, and an axe, so you can immediately start out with some good stuff. In comparison to spawn, it's right over here, as you can see with the arrow, it's near these two lakes. Here are the coordinates themselves, and you can just pause it there and look at that part. Now, for the town. The town's pretty normal. It has um, a couple different uh, buildings in it. You just fly, or, well, in your case, run over, and right here is the town. And uh, you can see it's got three big houses and, uh, like, four or five small houses, along with six gardens or farms. Now, when you walk up here, there'll be a garden here and then the farms and stuff. Some of the small houses you can't get into, but you can just parkour your way up and uh, your problems will be solved. And uh, there's also those wells that are really annoying if you fall in because you can't get back up. Unless you break it. And then there is also three larger houses. This one here has nothing in it. There's a crafting table and stuff. This one here, there's nothing in it either, and this one is uh, the town hall or whatever it's called. It's normal. It's completely empty. And then the fourth house, you can't get to unless you place those there. And uh, there's like three million villagers inside. It also has a back here with just a little kind of glitchy thing because it's stuck into the ground. Now the last place is the lava pit. Now right next to the village, if you turn around, you'll be able to see a lava pit. There are tons of lava pits in this desert here. Like, just go running off and you will find like five. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say about the lava pit. Okay, thank you guys for watching and uh, please enjoy the video. Rate and comment, subscribe, and uh, check out the seed because it's pretty good for getting diamonds and then a house right away. Or, yeah. Bye.